I, I was calling it over. I wasn't going to do chemo. What I heard might take place in radiation. I wasn't going to do it. A story. My story. Kathy, I'll be 70 tomorrow. I'm going to meet with Millie down at China Sky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you there go. You dog. I'm another dog. There's so many times it comes on the ballot and you, you say, wow, this is interesting. And then you read it and you go, hmm, well, wouldn't want anyone to suffer. But then again, you right to life, and so you, you juggle. Vote yes, vote no. So I thought, hey, I don't want anyone to suffer. So I checked it. A year later, my mom gets dementia, my brother commits suicide, and then in 2000, I get the cancer. I've been taking care of cancer patients for 48 years, like, like Miss Hall, and um, I, I've, I, I really care about my patients. And he said, um, Jeanette, you, th you think about this, and come Monday, you let us know which way you're going to go. Boy, I wrestled that night, and uh, there's a God, because I woke that morning with almost a voice saying, you can do it. One of the things I remember is that I was asking you, as I was, I was learning more about you and more about your family, and your, your son Scott was in the uh, police academy. Yeah. And so I said, wouldn't you like to see him graduate? Wouldn't yeah, you like to see him get married? Yeah. That's what kicked me back. That one sentence. From what I heard, uh, he gave her the encouraging word, don't you want to see your son get married, which I'm still working on. <laughs> I haven't given up, but it gave mom that word, that hope to uh, continue on. And when, it, when a doctor writes a prescription, a prescription is a written order. If he's writing a prescription for lethal drugs, he's writing a prescription to kill a person. I look for the easy way out. That's why I relate to Brittany Maynard. I said, well, I'm not going to suffer. I <laughs> forget this. <laughs> to say, give me the barbiturates, call it good, not even thinking that I would do my own son the same thing that my brother did to me. That would have been just uh, heartbreaking for me and, and would have added sorrow upon sorrow that, that I wasn't there at the end. Suicide is awful. And here, knowing that, I was still going to do it. She was terminal because she was refusing treatment. It's like a person who's diabetic could be considered terminal if they're not, uh, not taking the insulin. It doesn't connect because it's not you, it's somebody else. Not even thinking it could happen to you. But the day comes when it will be your choice, then your choice is, wow, I once voted for that, well, I'll stick with it. But then you get Dr. Stevens and, and he gives you hope. I've been on both sides. For me, to do it over again, I'd do the same thing. I wouldn't give up. Jeanette is such a chatterbox that sometimes I've told her, be quiet and make me appreciate that I cured you. <laughs>